Hello, so in this video I'm looking at how you can use feedback in modular software to make effects like this. And this. And this. And also this. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works. And today I'm using Cardinal, which is based on VCV Rack, but the difference is it runs for free as a VST plugin. So if you use a DAW, which is most people, and you want to give Modular a try, it's a really good way to get started. Right, so here I've just got a guitar track with an amp sim and some noise reduction. Here's my guitar sound. Okay, so if we go to add a new plugin and just type Cardinal, Okay, and you want the FX version because that allows you to process sound through the plugin. So if we just add this, I've actually got a, a default template there. So if I open a factory patch with a factory template. Okay, so this is what you get by default. Now we don't need all these modules today. So just gonna get rid of those. And this is basically just a, a loop back. So the, the host audio just connects the sound coming through it back into itself. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add is a mixer and I want to use the mind meld one. I want the smaller one. Just move this into view. And I also want the expander, which is this one. And I'm going to add a reverb. Uh, everyone's favorite reverb in VCV is Plateau. And I'm going to stick this on an aux send. Okay, so now I'm going to take the output there and just run this through the mixer. And then we can add some reverb by turning up the aux send on channel one. A bit too much maybe, turn that down. So there's a basic guitar effects patch. Now if you haven't used Cardinal before, it's actually quite a nice reverb for free. So there, if you want a free reverb, you can just download and install that. And all the modules are included, ready to go. So let's have a look at using some feedback. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to use a frequency shifter, which I now can't find. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to use this frequency shifter. And I'm going to put the connections through there like that. Okay, so you can hardly hear what that frequency shifter is doing. Let's just get a tiny amount of shift. When that's on a very small setting, you can hardly hear what that's doing. So let's have a look at how we use feedback. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a second mixer, this one here. Now instead of going into the frequency shifter, I'm going to take the inputs into the mixer first, turn up that channel, then I'm going to take the outputs into the frequency shifter like this. Now what we can do next is you can run 
one output into more than one input. So what we're going to do next is just double the outputs back into a mixer channel so we get some feedback. And you can either do this by holding down control or command on a Mac, or you can just drag the cable the other way. So now this is actually feeding back into the mixer. And you can hear that effect increasing as you turn up the gain on that channel. Which makes quite a nice univibe effect. So that's one really basic example. Um, let's have a look at a few of the other patches. So this one uses the um, pitch shifter and a delay loop. So I'm not sure how usable that one is for guitar, but it works quite nice with things like percussion, drum sounds. Okay, this one uses a reverb, which is actually based on um, an alternative firmware of clouds, the kind of classic Euro rack module. And that's pretty strange, to be honest. So if I just zoom out here, um, that's actually based on the frequency shifter, same as the demo I did just now. And it's also got a rotary speaker, which isn't in the feedback loop because that went a bit too nuts. Okay, and the last one I'm going to demo is an infinite reverb. So this patch actually uses two reverb modules in a feedback loop with some delays and I think some pitch shifting in there from clouds as well. 